If you've kept up with the Nintendo Switch's development scene as of late, you'll have noticed that there's a lot of cool things happening right now. Between the launch of Linux for Tegra Ubuntu by the bylaws and the release of Emu MMC for the Switch, there's never been a better time to own a hackable Nintendo Switch. Now, bylaws has one up themselves, as you can soon turn your Nintendo Switch into a full-fledged Android tablet, complete with dock and Joy-Con support. Before the public release, we got the opportunity to test Android on the Nintendo Switch to see what it can do. Spoiler alert, there's a lot. I'm Adam Conway with XGA TV, and this is Lineage OS running on the Nintendo Switch. For better or for worse, the Nintendo Switch was never meant to be more than a simplistic gaming device. Suffering from even the lack of a native web browser, which both the Nintendo 3DS and the Nintendo Wii had, many simply wanted to do more with their Nintendo Switch. Hackers rejoiced when a fatal hardware flaw affecting all Nintendo Switch devices released before July 2018 was discovered and released to the public, although that has had the unintended consequence of opening the floodgates to piracy as well. Digressions aside, such an exploit meant that developers could run any unsigned code that they wanted, and that later meant Linux support as well. And when you have Linux support, Android support isn't too far off. Android on the Nintendo Switch is a finicky thing, requiring a bit of setup to get it up and running. While we don't have the full set of instructions yet, you're going to need a spare SD card that you can install it onto. That's because Android runs entirely off of the SD card, and doesn't touch the operating system on your Nintendo Switch at all. With this release, there is also going to be a pre-packaged version of TWRP, which you can then use to flash a Google App Zip package, and optionally, an NVIDIA Apps package as well. Much of this port is made possible by the fact that the Android-based NVIDIA Shield runs on the exact same chipset as the Nintendo Switch, to Tegra X1. But technicalities aside, what can you do that you couldn't before? For starters, the Joy-Cons work natively and support pretty much anything that already supported a controller. That means you can play your favourite controller supporting Android games natively, which includes all kinds of emulators. At the moment, there is no emulator for the Nintendo Switch that can run DS games at full speed, although on Android, emulators that can, such as Drastic, have been around for years. I played Pokemon Platinum at full speed on my Switch without any issues. The Tegra X1 isn't the most powerful chipset, but it'll run a lot of what you throw at it. The Nintendo Switch always had the potential to be a media consumption beast as well. With its docking station and 1080p video output, it's a device that would be perfectly suited to the likes of Netflix. When you want to carry on watching your show or movie on the TV, simply drop it into the docking station and continue as if there were no interruptions. On Android, the same seamless docking system is here, and with it comes support for Netflix, although you'll need to install the APK from somewhere that isn't the Google Play Store. Because there's no Widevine DRM for HD either, you can only watch Netflix in up to 560p. That doesn't mean that the Nintendo Switch is a perfect Android tablet. In fact, it's far from it. As we've already shown, the Tegra X1 is an aging chipset. What's more, there's no GPS, camera, or even a microphone, so calling anyone is out of the question without a Bluetooth headset. Even when using a Bluetooth headset, there are no advanced codecs like LDAC or APTX, which leaves you with good old A2DP, so expect a lot of latency and high power consumption. Not every application supports the Joy-Cons yet either. Dolphin Emulator did not like the analog sticks, and Steam Link doesn't either. When Steam Link does work, you'll be able to stream all of your favourite games from your PC to your Switch, and play anywhere in your home, which is pretty neat to say the least. Still, it's a first release, and a very good one at that. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Make sure to check out the Nintendo Switch XDA forums in the description, and let us know in the comments what you think. This has been Adam Conway with XDA TV. Thanks for watching.